Hello everyone, in this video, you're going to look at the new uh, video on demand workflow experience uh, in Azure Media Services Ibiza portal. Here is the portal dashboard. You can either browse all the existing resources you have, or we could choose to create a new media services account by clicking on new button on the left corner and let's choose media and CDN. Now we are going to create a media services account. Let's give it a account name and choose uh, the subscription you want to use. You could also create a new resource group or use the existing one, uh, which I'm going to use the existing one here. And this is the locations media services are available, and we're going to choose US, East US. And attach a storage account to your Azure Media Services account. Please know that you can only choose locally redundant, geo redundant, or read only access geo redundant as storage type to work with Azure Media Services. You may notice that I have a classic storage account and a non-classic storage account as options. So both of them work with Azure Media Services account. However, if you have chosen a non-classic storage account, you won't be able to use this account in the old portal. So let's choose a non-classic account and choose to pin to dashboard. Um, that was where uh, once the provisioning is completed, you'll be able to gain a quick access to this Azure Media Services account via dashboard. So we will continue our demo using a uh, existing account. So here you will see that uh, uh, this is the resource blade of this uh, account where you got to see all the essential informations. And there are two default uh, tiles on this blade as well. Uh, streaming endpoint where you could be able to scale up and down your streaming unit. And you could also uh, create new endpoint if needed. And also a media processing blade where you could be able to um, scale up your media reserve unit for encoding or uh, media addicts uh, processors. And you could also choose the speed of your uh, processing unit. By clicking on setting, you enter the menu where you could gain easy access to major functionalities of Azure Media Services such as account uh, assets, that's where all the video assets um, get stored, and also live streaming, for instance, where you could manage your live channel. So we'll be focusing on asset blade first for video on demand workflow. So here you can see all your video assets. And now what we're going to do is to upload a video asset, transcode it into multi-bit or MP4, and make it available for streaming. So firstly, upload. And you could select file from your local disk. You could do a bulk upload here, and you can see I have two files getting uploaded into the portal. Uh, very quickly, I see them available in the asset list. And I'm going to choose this Big Bug Bunny video to get encoded into a multi bit MP4 by clicking on the encode button on the asset blade. And there are two media encoder available in the portal. One is media encoder standard, and the other one is media encoder premium workflow. And we're going to choose um, media encoder standard. And we're going to pick a preset, uh, H264 multiple bitrate 720p. And then give it a more friendly drop name and output media asset name here. And click on create. So you can see the encoding job is uh, getting started. And we can go to Jobs Blade to quickly monitor uh, the progress of our uh, encoding job. So once the uh, encoding starts, um, the job task will pick up the process um, progress here. So while waiting, uh, I'm just going to go back to Asset Blade and chose um, one uh, file that I have already encoded into multi-bit MP4 
and、uh, we are going to make this file available for streaming by click on publish. So you could either create a streaming locator、uh, once you have at least one streaming RU, or progressive download the URL if you just want to directly download the file from Blob. So let's do a streaming locator here, and you can give a start date and time, and also when the、uh, locator gets expired. So click on add. And now we are having a streaming、uh, URL where you can put into the player, so、uh, your audience can see it. So we can also try it out by clicking on play, and Azure Media Player will show you how the video file、uh, gets playbacked、uh, in the web page. And also, if you need more information, you could click on this streaming locator, and we also shows you、um, this streaming locator in different.、Uh, Streaming formats and how the URL would look like. And later, if you are done with、um, the streaming, you could also unpublish the URL by simply click on unpublish button. So that's all I want to show about a very simple video on demand、uh, video workflow. And I hope you enjoy the new Azure Media Services Portal experience. Thank you for watching.